Hey everyone, welcome back to Shutter Magazine. I'm Dustin Lucas and today we're going to learn how to create custom profiles in the new Photoshop version 21. Uh, so like many of you, updating Photoshop, updating Lightroom, any of my Adobe apps can be a pain, um, of course, right? You update to the latest version, it helps some things and hurts others. So um, I'm not here to debate on whether you should update or not, but if you are working in the latest version of Photoshop, here's how you create those custom profiles. So you're probably wondering, what's a profile? Why do I need it? Uh, profiles are a one-click adjustment for you to be able to apply instantly different toning and color shifts to your image, almost like color grading. So if you're familiar with video and LUT files and what those do with color and tonality, profiles do the same thing for photos. So in Lightroom, what I can do is I can create these custom profiles and I can apply them with one click to take an image from here instantly to this uh, just by applying my own profile. So like Adobe Color, Adobe Standard, you might be used to those profiles. Those are exactly what we are going to create in Photoshop from uh, layer adjustments or actions maybe you've already placed. Um, and we're going to export those out of Photoshop, create a profile, and make it simple for you to edit. So let's jump into Photoshop and get started. All right, so the first thing that we need to do in order to start creating a custom profile is going to be applying some layer adjustments. So here in the layers panel, you can click at the bottom here and apply any layer adjustments that you want. Uh, so specifically, if you want to apply, oh, I don't know, maybe a gradient map uh, to convert your image to black and white, you can do that, right? So we can click on these different options here. Let's click on reverse. Um, to see our image kind of pop out here. Let's look at some different options. Some basic ones, right? So if you just want to apply a black and white, um, a quick black and white uh, action here, um, you could build one from, uh, excuse me, a, a quick black and white layer adjustment. You could just uh, gradient map, right? Uh, that's a pretty cool uh, option there. Or, like many of us, just click on the black and white um, option here. And then you can click on auto for tonality and it kind of fills that in. So a little different between that and the gradient map, of course. Uh, mine seems to be auto going to some kind of matte grade that I created before, but not a problem. I can click on this and it's done. So kind of just toggling between difference between those. Um, so any kind of action you have, um, if you want to go ahead and apply it, um, the most important part is that layer adjustments are being saved. So if I am applying, let's say, my matte and warm preset here, um, as you can see, it shifts this image uh, quite a lot. So we want to make sure things like high pass that's included in here, that's going to have to be removed from my uh, process altogether. But if I want this uh, particular matte warm style, I can go ahead and have this applied, right? So let's, let's go ahead and apply this, make sure everything is good with our image here. See, these are all layer adjustments, so very important to the process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make just a couple tweaks here to make sure this is the one I want. I'm gonna apply a different one just to see what my warm style And I think I like how dramatic this one is. This one seems to be a little more, uh, a little more my style. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that out and get rid of these two, just to kind of look at these options here. So again, just making sure we only have layer adjustments applied. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this as a LUT. So I'm going to go up here to File, Export, and Color Lookup Table. So it's really important as we start doing this process is we name everything the same. So if I want this to be called Modern Warm, and I'll just add a 1 to the end of it, that's good. Everything else can stay the same, and we're going to create a cube file. So we don't need to apply anything else in the formats. Everything as default is perfect. I'm going to click OK. And now it's going to ask me to save my LUT. 
So I'm going to do that same thing. Modern warm one. Of course, if I spelled warm correctly, um, I'm saving that in my LUT file. And I actually have a specific spot for where I want my LUTs to go. So under Documents, Adobe, LUTs, right here. Um, so keeping things organized is super helpful. I use that Adobe folder that's stored in Documents for presets, um, actions, all that kind of stuff to save. So I'm going to go ahead and save that there as well. And now it should have done its job. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and open up a raw file directly into Photoshop so that way I can save the LUT file in Adobe Camera Raw. So let's jump into Adobe Camera Raw and get started. All right, so now that we have a raw opened up in the new version 21 of Photoshop, you'll notice the new layout of Adobe Camera Raw. Um, on the right hand side, you have all of your panels that you had before or your tabs before you had um, that in the uh, Adobe Camera Raw. So we're in the basic panel right now. Um, going down here to presets is where we want to save this profile. Now you still have the create a new preset um, button here. So by holding the option or alt key, and clicking the create a preset, we get a new pop-up, right? So it's new profile. Uh, so this is the big change for the Adobe Camera Raw to save a profile in the new version of Photoshop version 21. Um, so just like before, we're gonna name this thing the same. We've been naming it across the board from the cube file to the LUT file to now the profile. Um, so modern warm one, um, we'll go ahead and create, uh, we'll add it to my profiles. Um, that's the group that we're going to use. So these are all profiles, uh, profile groups that I've created before. Now it's very important that we are only keeping um, the color lookup table information. So all of this information here needs to be unchecked. Now, of course, if you didn't export a color lookup table in Photoshop like we did previously, and you want to create a profile from using sliders in um, Camera Raw or Lightroom, you can certainly do that and check the different panels that apply. But since we're not using those, I uncheck all of those options. I leave the tone map strength at normal or low. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because I don't want the Adobe color um, lookup table. I want a color lookup table that I created. So here's where I go to Modern Warm. I click Load. It automatically selects everything that I need. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And that's it. So the next step that we need to do is we need to open up Lightroom and we need to relaunch it. So let's go ahead and do that so we can go ahead and click our new profile. All right, now that we've relaunched Lightroom, um, we're ready to apply our new profile. So clicking uh, next to the Adobe Color Profile that's already applied, I can view all of the profiles that I have installed on this machine. So under the My Profiles group is where we saved this modern warm profile. I can click it and it's already applied. Now taking this a step further, right? Here's where we started, here's where we are. Now I can take that profile and apply it to multiple images. So just like presets um, that you can sync to multiple images, apply it on them instantly, you can do the exact same thing with profiles. So the ability to apply that same action um, in Photoshop, but also apply it to multiple images at once in Lightroom gives me that efficiency, but also flexibility in editing. So now that I have all these images synced up, they all have that profile applied, and I can make the minor tweaks that I need, right? Exposure, white balance, all that kind of stuff. But it immediately applies that style to all the images um, and makes me work much faster. And that's it. All right, so now that we've created our profile in the new version of Photoshop, applied it in Lightroom, you're ready to go. So if you've got a bunch of actions ready to export as LUTs, um, that's a little bit of the processing time up front, right? But it's gonna save you so many hours of editing doing this in Lightroom. So I definitely recommend export the LUTs, create the profiles, organize everything into Lightroom so that way you can apply profiles, um, use, use them in presets. Um, to make editing even faster. So you don't have to run those batch processes, applying an action in Photoshop. You can do it with one click of the mouse and you can immediately see what each one looks like on the image. That's what I love about the profile panel here. 
So I can click on and look at all these different profiles instantly, what they're gonna look like on my image before I apply it and export. Um, so now that you've got the power to create profiles, um, you've got the power to export all of those actions, those don't go to waste, create profiles today, I promise you, you won't regret it.